Hey, what's going on guys? Steve Rojo with the Bass Hang, and I'm bringing you a quick little overview of this bass and preamp and pickups. So, first of all, I'm recording with my iPhone 7 at 4K using the mic by Apogee, the Apogee Mic 96K for my voice, and then I'm going straight into my A-Designs Ready, my duet by Apogee, into Logic for all the playing examples. I'm bringing you just an incredible bass by Ray Roger. This is a handmade Roger bass. This has a cinnamon imbuya top, so it's just gorgeous flame. This quilt is just deep. Um, has a three band Benevente preamp, all eight single coil pickups, hip shot hardware, brass nut. Um, again, cinnamon imbuya top, maple fretboard, maple neck, and a swamp ash body. The thing I love about this bass, I've gigged extensively with it, I've traveled with it, and it literally is just a workhorse and a beast. I, I really, really like this bass a lot. Um, so let's go through some of the sounds. I really want to demo the, um, the preamp. Uh, by the way, I'm using DR Pure Blues on this bass. Uh, they're relatively new. They have a few gigs on them, but uh, they're relatively new. So basically, here's bypassed. Here is the preamp completely bypassed. So that's completely bypassed. There's the bridge pickup. And then here is the neck pickup. So that's the uh, preamp bypassed. When I engage the preamp, it definitely gives it a boost. It has maybe a 3 dB boost, um, which is really nice, man. They're not equal, so if your battery runs out, it's going to be a little lower, but then just boost the gain of the amp. That'll be fine. But I do like this preamp a lot. You'll hear why. So let me just play a little groove. All right, that's flat. So now, all of these knobs, except for the master volume, so basically, let me explain. I have master volume, I have uh, blend, so that's gonna be my neck pickup, my bridge pickup is all the way there, then I have mid boost and cut, and then I have a stacked bass and treble. So the bottom knob is bass, top knob is treble. And these three knobs have little center detents in them, so you can feel the middle, so. I'm going to boost the mids. Alright, now I'm going to cut the mids. So now, let me boost the lows, the bass. And then the bass cut. Treble boosted. Treble cut. So now you've heard each individual one boosted and cut, but now let's talk about basically the usable tones that I have found. Sometimes if I feel like I'm not cutting in the mix enough, I definitely boost that mid-range. kind of really brings out that low B of this bass. And this bass is just big sounding. I really like it. All right, if I'm doing some slap stuff, I will boost the bass. And so basically, before, here's, here's a little slap line flat, everything flat. So now, if I boost the bass and the treble a bit, I 
I think that's a really nice, useful sound of boosting that bass and treble. Really brings out a lot of that beef of this bass, all right? So now let's play something a little bit higher in the register with the mids boosted. That is the Roger five string jazz bass and it's just it's just a great great bass. The other thing I really like is this wide spacing. It really really is 19 millimeter true 19 mil spacing. It may be, even be 20 mil. It's just nice and wide. Uh, again, it has the Oliate single coil pickups with the staggered pole pieces, Benevente three band preamp, hip shot hardware. Um, it's just built like a tank. Um, I, I think I could take this bass anywhere and it would just live through <laughs> everything. For a bass that has a brass nut, it, it has... Sometimes I'm used to instruments that have a brass nut to be very bright and brash, and this bass is just really, really super warm. So, hope you dig it. That's the Roger Five String Jazz Bass. Just a beautiful, beautiful work of functional art. So, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.